the one system that's actually designed to protect the body that can actually hurt the body more than any other system is the immune system. The first thing that I want to impress on people is we have to really look at ourselves differently. Let's think of ourselves as a walking and talking rainforest. We're made up of thousands and thousands of different species of living organisms, including our own cells, that all live in a very delicate balance. And that balance can easily be disrupted by affecting even one or two of those members of this collection of organisms. I found it to be extremely important that people had a good basic understanding of how the microbiome itself interacts with the immune system. How can dysbiosis in the microbiome lead to disease? The immune system is basically an army with no general. Imagine an army that has tanks and has soldiers and helicopters and planes and all of that stuff. If it's not given the right information, it'll start attacking the wrong things. What we have to do is put the immune system into a situation where it affects its own balance. Without a healthy microbiome, you would not have an effective first line of defense. You'd be susceptible to both chronic and acute infections over and over again, especially during this time of year during cold and flu season. The microbiota stimulates the production of natural killer cells, so that in order to express more and more natural killer cells, it becomes extremely important to have a high-functioning and diverse microbiome. Without a high-functioning, diverse microbiome, you're never going to be able to have enough natural killer cells, and you're never going to be able to get after those chronic set-in viral infections. The innate immune system, which is controlled by the microbiota, is actually the one that will lead to pulmonary disease and atrophy, rheumatoid arthritis, type 1 diabetes, IBD, liver disease, atherosclerosis, obesity, cancer, all of these things are actually propagated by the innate immune system if the communication between the innate immune system and the microbiota is not effective. This is a crucial defense mechanism for virtually every kind of infection, toxicity that comes through, through your digestive system, through any one of your orifices in your body, even through your skin. So alterations of the microbiome from a diet are quite, quite profound. Now, the way you increase diversity in your microbiota is by actually feeding your microbiota a more diverse diet. Our ancestors consumed somewhere around 600 different types of foods each year. We consume maybe 15 different foods a year. Simple shifts in your diet can have a huge profound effect in how this entire system functions. So, you know, my message is always not to oversimplify these systems and kind of look at what nature is giving us in order to create balance within the system. So the more we can start thinking of ourselves as a super organism, the more all of this will start to make sense. And the, and the more clearly we'll be able to see a path to healing and a path to wellness once we start understanding this concept of holobiome and a super organism.